A little over 30 years ago, there were some visionary educators who came up with an idea to create a school for the future. So everything from the architecture of the building, including the room sizes and the layout of the rooms, to the people that they hired, to the administration that they put in place, their idea was to provide an opportunity for students to best choose their own paths for learning. So all of our students take four or five classes from September until the end of January, and they'll take another four or five classes from the beginning of February to the end of June. Even with these set classes, there still is a lot of ownership for students on what their timetable looks like. So they decide based on what's upcoming, how they schedule their time. So, you know, a student in grade 10 might have a social studies project that has to be finished by Friday. So for this week, they're gonna allocate a little bit more time for social studies than they do for say math. But they also know that next week, they're gonna have to allocate more time for math to make up for the time that they kind of weren't using on math in the previous week. You have the set classes that you have to go to, but then the rest of your time, you have to manage yourself. So it gives kids a real taste of what university is like. So like this school is um, different than other school because it's kind of like self-paced. Personally, I like this system because if you want to go faster than others, then you can. Or even if you want to go slower, then you can just take your time and ask the teacher for help whenever you need it. Uh, to be productive, you should organize your schedule. I track like what I have to do in the day and make a to-do list and talk to your teacher in person to understand the contents of assignments after class or in free blocks. We meet with students every week. There's uh, instructional delivery that happens in the classroom as well. When students have choice blocks where they can choose to work on whatever they feel like they need to, there's a great hall that is always staffed by at least two teachers every block. And so if a student was, say, needing some extra support, they could always come down to the great hall at any time in the day and we would work with them one-on-one. -on -one. There's also the option for acceleration. So sometimes we get students that come in and they're very motivated with their mathematics and they might be able to finish, say, two full courses in one year. Basically our philosophy here is to provide students with as many resources as we can and then allow students to self-direct themselves as to which resources they find useful to go about learning. We have a very comprehensive website that offers instructional videos online. So we have some YouTube videos for every single math course. All of our assignments are online. We have online instructional videos. One of my favorite teachers is Mr. Radom because he stayed um, after school to help us with the AP Calculus, which is like equivalent to like the university credit. And he stayed from like one to like seven for like a month or so to help us with preparing for calculus courses, I, which I think is really nice of him. What really helps our students here is to have a teacher advisor, which is like a mentor that generally they keep for five years. So that teacher advisor really learns a lot about the student, their strengths, their weaknesses, their challenges at home, um, and they help the student to manage their time and just kind of navigate high school in general. So that really is a foundational thing with our school. The students that I would have in my TA are a mix of students from grades 8 to 12, and they're with me until they graduate. Uh, so really, really powerful connections are made with those students because um, we see them every morning. As a TA, I'm also the mentor for the students, so sometimes students have challenges at school. Uh, their TA is usually their first place they would go to. Teachers here are really friendly. I, I could talk to them like friends or soulmates. <laughs> I always talk about my family or my hobbies or what we do on weekends. They are really nice. I really love them personally. We are a typical Ministry of Education high school with a unique model. So we are the only high school in our province with this model. We attract kids from all over the world, but we also attract educators from all over the world. So we have visitors in all the time from Australia, New Zealand, Iceland, because of the unique nature of the school. For students that have English as a second language, there's a lot of support here too. So not only do we have the teacher support, but there's also the peer support. So a lot of our English as a second language areas have kids that are learning English, but also resident students that are there to help them. In our large workspaces, they're working not just with international students, but they're also working with resident students. So they're having an opportunity to practice their English skills and to improve their English skills while making friends. 
On the first day, I met a Canadian girl, which became my friend later. She's super nice because she introduced me to many of the people she know. With her help and support, I can get to know like a lot of people. You have like the support system you need here at Thomas Haney. I'm planning to go to university in Canada. I got like a scholarship from University of Alberta. I got 57,000, so I decided to go there because the university ranking is good. There's gonna be a, like tons of work at university and you need to have like the time management. And with this school, you're actually developing your time management skills. So it's really gonna help me like balancing my like school life and then work life. A lot of the feedback we get from former students is how they showed up at university and they knew how to navigate it right from the start. If the students are coming to Thomas Haney, they should be open to the new field or new like activities, like joining the clubs or talking to teachers and being friendly.